What's up, guys? This is a reading for all signs. It's just the random topics. I'm going to do 12 random topics tonight, and this topic is, will I ever get rich? And I'm talking... You know that usually means it's going to be a reversal. Anyway, I'm going to shuffle these cards and come forward with a message while I shuffle these cards. Watch this quick video, and I'll be back with your will I ever get Miss rich <laughs> message. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well if you want to manifest a new job if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace Okay, I'm back. So, just really quickly, I want to go over the oracle cards first. The first oracle card that came out was Prosperity Lies Ahead. Prosperity is, um, New Moon and Taurus is basically alluding to, yes, you have the opportunity, you have the possibility to get rich. So, but let me read it verbatim. It says, this card will often come up when you're inquiring about a financial matter or when you're doubting your self-worth. It says, this card suggests that you can have what you want, including material things. But you must believe in yourself. The, this comes down to the laws of attraction. Value yourself and others will value you. Treat yourself like you're rich or that you're about to be rich and others will value and treat you the same. It says, you can create abundance. Taurus is associated with luxurious Venus, and this card holds the new moon energy. So potentially, it could be time for you to make a 12-month plan, or it could signal the start of better times and the start of a new relationship. So, so far in the reading, we got yes. Then you have, don't let pride get in your way. Don't let these nails get in my way. I'm, I need to get my nails done. I'm tired of talking about my nails in these videos. Don't let pride get in your way. So maybe this is alluding to getting rich, but, you know, don't let it get to your head. Don't let pride get in your way because the universe giveth, the universe taketh away. What goes up must come down. Cause and effect. So if you start letting things get to your head, your prosperity that lies ahead of your life and you let it get to your head, know that it can be taken away. Just like Saul didn't treat, if I don't know if you read the Bible or believe in the Bible, I don't care though. So I'm still going to tell this story. You know, Saul let rulership get in his head and um, pride get in his way, especially when it was time for David to take over the kingdom. You know, Saul was so used to being the one that he was having a hard time with David. And, it, you know, to me, that means that alluded to or that caused his kingdom to go down even quicker because David was willing to work with him. And, you know, who knows what could have happened if they worked together, but he let pride get in his way. So, but anyway, so far in the reading, prosperity does lie ahead for you. And it says, but don't let your pride get in your way. Do put the work in that you need to put it in. Don't let pride become an obstacle. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm not going to read the rest of that. It's just don't let pride get in your way. First card that comes in is the Wheel of Fortune. So, if we're asking the question and we are about will I ever get rich, and the first card we get is the Wheel of Fortune, that's a good sign. So, that means fortune is on the horizon. Then you have the Lovers. This is alluding to your ability to master divine masculine and divine feminine principles. Can you put the work in to be rich? Can you put the spiritual work in to be rich? Can you make spirituality and practicality like the magician to bring forth the manifestation of the riches that you desire? I can. So, yeah. Fortune is looking really good. Prosperity lies ahead. A change is coming that could bring 
you luck on your side and you bring you manifest that by combining spiritual spiritual principles and practicality to bring forth success that means you're working hard you have the energy you're in the flow of the universe you're not blocking yourself you're not creating mental blocks or spiritual blocks by overthinking by thinking negative thoughts by bringing in doubt you believe in yourself you believe that spirit is working with you and spirit is working with you and you're bringing in your hard work and practicality to the table as well then you have the king of cups you're not letting the storm get in the way. Like, if anything happens, if obstacles come your way, you're remaining solid. Your foundation is on the rock. You know who you are as a person. You are. You have unwavering belief. You know that prosperity is flowing to you. The cards already told us. I could end this reading right now. It says prosperity lies ahead. And I ask, this is a reading. Will I get rich? Well, prosperity lies ahead. So regardless of what sight does, you see the, you see the um, waters. The waters are in his what? You know, it's, it's tumultuous. But the king is unbothered because his, her, you know, his or her, you know, it could be man or woman. The foundation is on the rock. Nothing is moving him. He knows he's in a position to receive and he knows what's coming to him. But you got to focus on what's important. The seven of swords, you know, people come to me all the time. I know how, you know, with how business works. Um, sometimes I don't always do it in my own personal business, but I know how business works. And I give advice and help people to um, start their business. But anyway, they say, I have, oh, I'm starting two businesses at the same time. And I'm a husband and I'm a wife and I have kids and I'm in school. I'm doing all these things. I'm going to do it. No, focus on what's important. If you want to be rich, focus on what's going to make you rich. Ask, ask me, get a private reading, ask spirit, pray about it, ask wise counsel, but focus on what's important in your life and that's going to bring the riches in your life. If you're manifesting, focus on what's going to manifest your best life. Then you have the death card. That's just mean transformation is on the horizon. Oh, beautiful. New beginnings are on the horizon. And it, the death card is so ugly. That just makes me feel like the new beginnings are going to be that beautiful. You know what I'm saying? As ugly as this card is, that white horse looks fucking amazing because that's how beautiful it's going to be. That's how you're going to ride past these old times and enter this new transformation looking pretty, sitting pretty on your white horse. That is saying some things will end and open the door for new beginnings that's going to bring justice in your life. Equal give and take, and I'm a Libra too, so King of Cups and the Justice card both alludes to Libra. Let me look at my notes. I do believe that. Yeah, King of Cups and the, um, see, I gotta stop down myself. King of Cups and the Justice card are both alludes to Libra, so maybe this message could be for a Libra. I'm a Libra, so I'll take it. <laughs> so, anyway, equal give and take. So, the effort that you put in is the effort that's gonna come out. Cause and effect, equal give and take. Um, yeah, so, if this transformation is gonna come about based on the effort that you put forth, everything we just talked about, then you have the moon. Things are happening in the background that you may not see. So maybe this is alluding to spirit guides working with you or the law of attraction working in your favor or just stepping out there and putting in the work, knowing that in the background, there may be things that you don't see that's happening in your favor. That's going to bring riches in your life. That's going to bring you abundance and prosperity because we already know the theme of the reading is prosperity lies ahead. So you know it's coming. You may not see it right now. Your sight may be dark. It may be dark. Evan, you're following the light. It may be dark in your life. And, and I'm not saying dark like hard times. I, sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, you're so pretty. And sometimes I'll be like, what the fuck do you look like today? Anyway, this may be saying that sight, don't let sight get in your way. There are things that you may not be seeing that's happening in the background that's bringing you abundance. Somebody can be watching this video with the opportunity of a lifetime. Do I see that person watching this video? No. But I'm going to still post my videos knowing that increase and overflow is flowing to me right now. Abundance is flowing to me right now. Prosperity lies ahead. Matter of fact, prosperity lies in the next minute, the next moment, the next day. It's coming though. It's I don't know when. It's dark. It's dark. I don't see it right now. It ain't in my bank account right now, but it's flowing to me right now. I am in the flow of the universe. I am in the positive flow of the currency and it's flowing right to me. 
And matter of fact, I create it. It's flowing to me because I create it. And I'm going to create even more abundance in my life. You know, you got to talk to yourself like that when it's dark. You got to talk to yourself when sight doesn't match with the light you're following. But you know that it's coming. But don't be deceived. Hmm. Don't be fooled by the enemy, the opposition. Yes, prosperity lies ahead. Don't let the opposition trick you. Don't let negative feelings and thoughts trick you. Don't lose this prosperity that's coming your way because um, things look good on the outside, but it's ruined on the inside. Or things are better on the inside, but you can't see things for what they are. You know, see it for what they are. Prosperity lies ahead. You're on the positive flow of the universe. You are going to be rich. When you get rich, order a reading, okay? <laughs> um, bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. This is alluding to unification of dualities. This is, this is success. This is fulfillment. This is you will meet your goal. This is confirmation that if you have a goal to get rich, like the theme of this reading is, you'll get it. You will reach your goal. And I hope this, I know this reading is for me too. And I know I'm going to reach it. I hope this helps. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how you feel. Do you resonate with it? Say yes, I resonate. In fact, put that energy out in the universe. Comment prosperity lies ahead. Comment yes, I am in the positive flow of the energies. Comment something that increases flowing to you right now increases flowing to me right now comment something reaffirming that you believe this message my name is ashley giller i'm a master manifester if i can help you on your journey click the link below in my description peace